Brooks from Dog Times here. We're here at the collection it's a in good Miami. Day. Good day. Woo. First 765LT delivered in Florida, and we're here to do the unboxing. Here we go. All right, little sneak peek in here. Here it is. 765LT Papaya Spark. I got it. You all right? I got it. There he goes. Ah. Snaking in there. All right, let me get it. Let me get it in front of you. So we got Papaya Spark with the jet black wheels, carbon fiber mirrors, and of course the roof scoop. This thing looks really, really cool. Really, really good. Really, yeah. really, really good. So we got the blacked out stealth package, blacks out the tips. You can see the titanium exhaust right there. You can there. see titanium, titanium inside. The color. And then black uprights as well. You can see straight through the back. There is no mesh down here. You can see straight back in the transmission on this one. You got the arrow bits on the side, super lightweight wheels. And of course we got the roof scoop. Carbon fiber roof scoop drops straight down into the engine. For and you cooling. can see how it comes through the top here, drops down, and then you got the toilet bowl. That is a required option when you get the roof scoop. Together, they cost about $44,000. I think it's 37 plus another 8,000 or something for the toilet bowl. Let's look inside the engine bay when you are inside the car. And it doesn't really do anything but cool off the car. That's it. it cools the engine bed. Yeah. So you can see the switch comes down in here and then down way in there if you look really close. Carbon fiber intake here. He's got the carbon fiber optional sills. I think this was $4,300. Uh, the wheels come standard. LT seats. They use the P1 seats. Let's see if we can see a little more here. Got the seat Ooh, the that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. I don't believe I'm getting this on mine. Yeah. So I think that's part of the orange package, although I would love to see if that came in green on mine. That they didn't, they weren't really specific about what the green stitching entailed. This optional right here? Uh, no, they all come like this. They all come like that. Yeah. Let me just move this here. So mine will be orange or green? Did you, what interior did you get? Because 
If you got the base interior, everything's gonna be black. Black, okay. So if you get the one that comes with a purple clock, you can get it in orange or, uh, or something else. This was a three thousand dollar option. Yeah, I paid thirty six hundred for green stitching. Okay, so you pay for the stitching, which is MSO. It doesn't come with. Like, it doesn't the come green. with it. Doesn't come with that. I didn't think so. Yeah, that's nice though. Look at look at the car raw carbon fiber top, just like the old six seventy five LT. Yeah, look at the floor LT. right here. Let me turn on the light so you can see a little better. Wow. Yeah. So this is. The carbon fiber tub is totally exposed in the 765. And this car rattles a lot. I mean, not not rattles bad, but rattles like no. It's a race car. Yeah. It's a race car. Yeah. It's a race car. So getting in the car, it's not bad at all. I mean, these these are the P1 seats. This is what I ordered. Manual seats, front back, not adjustable back here. Optional orange seat belts. And then this is the carbon fiber one interior package, which comes standard. So carbon steering wheel, shift paddles, and this up here. And of course, you got the fold-up display saying 765 with this new design. Uh, they do. The doors kind of close. They're supposed to be soft close. They are. But you really got to shut them pretty good to get it activated. Wow, it's much quieter now. Transport mode active. That means we can't do anything. No launch control. That's not going to work. But center console, this comes standard. No flip up box here to save weight. Also down here, oh, he did pay for the extra pockets. Yeah, the pockets are there. Yeah. Yeah. So I did not get that because that weighs extra. <laughs> and it costs money. I didn't want to spend the money on storage and I never even use that. Same up here, everything's the same. But when you start it, you could feel, you feel oh, it in the seat. Yeah, it's vibrating. You could feel the seats. It's just like the old 675, like the old 675 yeah. was just- It feels like, like the Senna that I that I drove, honestly. Like it, yeah. it's got this really, really raw oh, uh, yeah. feeling to it, like a race car. Like it's, it's, it's you like can it's, feel it in your yeah. ass right now. It's, yeah, no, whole, it's seriously vibrating. It's like shaking a little bit, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Inside, this looks pretty much the same as my car, except, no, oh, we got the fender vents over here. These are nice. That's a no cost option in carbon fiber. Got the fire extinguisher. Is that important? Yep. Is it? Uh, floor mats. This all looks the same. It's about the same kind of insulation on that one. There's your floor mat. 360 cameras, you can see that. This is not a telemetry, you know? No telemetry. This is the papaya spark color. All right, now we're going to park it next to the pista up here. got this 765 LT next to, I guess it's nearest competitor. What do you think, Jimmy? The Pista. The Ferrari yeah. Pista. It is the nearest competitor. Yeah. I mean, as you know, I went for the F8 over the Pista for a, a number of reasons, but uh, Pista still looks good, but man, this this looks, I don't know, this way level, better, isn't level. it? Yeah. Who wants to see Pista, sorry, who wants to see Pista versus the 765 race? This car's charging, apparently. This is a good looking car, no doubt. But this 765 is just next level here. Quick rundown on the options on this car. The total MSRB came in at $434,650. First option you got up is the McLaren orange seat belts right here, $350. The sill panel in carbon down here, which goes all the way front and up here, that is $4,370. Then we go to the mirror arms. If you want to get the mirror arm, bottom pieces right here in carbon, that will cost you $2,620. And one of the big options on this car, obviously, is the roof scoop. So right here, the carbon fiber roof scoop, which brings fresh air down into the engine, $36,340. Is that worth it? For what? The roof scoop, 36000 No. No? It doesn't do anything. I know, but it looks cool. It looks cool. Okay, I did not get the roof scoop. I can't afford that. So yeah. No, no. I got the. I probably got the cheapest 765 made. Yeah. I actually didn't put any options on it. Which is all it is, paper it's paint. It's a race car. Yeah. yeah one option. So onto the paint, the metallic papaya spark paint, $9,400. Uh, 3D parking. I actually didn't even get that on my car. It's got cameras all around. My 720 has a 3D parking. 
it just that doesn't work that great in his no. half, but I wasn't gonna pay any money for that. 36, uh, where was that, where were we at? 3D parking. Oh, 17.40. That's actually not that bad. Maybe I should have added that. Charger, $260. Fire extinguisher, $190. Necessary. And now the engine window. Yes, that's another expensive one. $8,470. So you can, in the rear view mirror, see your engine right inside here. So there you go. $8,000. It's a one other thing with the roof scoop in the back. When you look in the rear view mirror, look at the view you get. Sorry, you can't see the GoPro, but you can see it blocks out, I would say, 60% in the rear view mirror. Instead of seeing in back of you, you actually see this roof scoop directly in back of you. So maybe one drawback to the roof scoop. Not terribly, you can still see out the back because everything's glass. And of course, they're not doing glass on the roof anymore uh, because they want to do carbon fiber and it's actually lighter than the glass option to save weight. And then on to the covered storage bins, right? So if you want to store some things in the door right here, it doesn't open when it's open, when it, the door is up because otherwise it'll fall out. That's another $840. But that, that became an option. That wasn't an option with the 720, no, right? Came, that was yeah. a standard. Yeah, because that adds weight. Oh. So, I mean, a couple ounces. A couple I, ounces here yeah. and there. I didn't get that. I could go out by McLaren. Orange stitching. So, orange stitching on the seats and the dash. $3,030. And then the stealth pack, $1,820. We went over that earlier in the video. That is the blacked out exhaust tips and the uprights in stealth black. I actually skipped that option because I wanted the titanium yeah. to show through. So, my car is cheaper right there. And then that's it. You got the, you the got transportation the, charges, 5500 oh, like the audio, do you, you get the upgrade? Audio is free. That's oh, a free upgrade, no charge. Yeah. And the gas cars are taxed, $1,700. So 434650 I think my car came in at $365,000. So this is a lot more money, but the spec's really awesome. One of the few orange. All right, so that's a wrap of the 765 LT. First one in Florida. This car's going to get PPI at the dealer, taken out of transport mode. Um, PPF. Then, it's, then it's going off for PPF, and then it's going out for some drag times testing. So we should have some numbers on how fast the 765 is really soon. Let me know in the comments. 60 to 130, quarter mile, trap speed, street and the strip. Comment below. Uh, whoever's closest for the first test result that I release, I'll send out one of these McLaren 720S t-shirts for free. And then I'll have to update this to the 765. As always, thanks for watching. My 765 actually just got completed uh, and should be soon. Should be here in a month. So I'm super excited to get mine. But meanwhile, I get to play with this one. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll keep the videos coming.